Now look at this. Look how beautiful it looks. Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at an app called Air Starship developed by uh, Chip++. Now according to the description, uh, Air Starship uh, lets you experience the true scale and a grandeur of a 380 feet rocket. So what I'm going to do is to launch this rocket into space, kind of, in augmented reality. And here I'm, you know, this is a 380 feet rocket, so I actually walked uh, to an area to place it. The thing is that I wanted this to feel uh, immersive and you know kind of realistic uh, so I just couldn't use the controls as you're gonna see there are controls on the right side is soon uh, they're gonna appear I just wanted to place it in a you know in big area and just go back and really see it's in a huge scale by the way I really enjoyed that the developer also added some educational value to the app you can find it uh, in the about section of the app when you launch it so let's just take a look and we're gonna move on to uh, launching um, our rocket, our huge rocket. All right, guys, let's do this. And this is insane. I'm not. I'm excited because I know what you're going to see. It's so amazing. Now, of course, I tried many apps where you can put 3D models on the floor and you can enlarge them in a very light size. I tried dinosaurs even here in the same area. But, you know, the connection between the fact that you're knowing that you're going to look at a rocket, a real size rocket uh, in front of you, uh, it's it just, you know, it's just for me, it was mind blowing because I was expecting this moment so much. And then look at this. And then I saw the rocket. It's huge. Now, I wish it wasn't blue because uh, it's actually make it harder to see it uh, when you view it uh, with the sky in the background. But it's also important to know that this is a beta version I'm trying here and uh, um, the release version might have changes. Uh, so just keep this in mind. Now look at this. Look how beautiful it looks. And a moment before it was empty. Not interesting, you know, people in the, you know, in the park just having fun. And me, you know, just, just seeing this rocket in front of me, huge rocket. Nobody is aware of what I'm looking at. It's just amazing, amazing view. It's huge, it's just huge. As you can see, uh, you need to choose a different color. Maybe having the option to choose your own color. Also take a look at the stats on the right side. You can see the height, um, diameter, <coughs> capacity, uh, engines, uh, mass, thrust altitude, speed, and a flight time. Now this number will ch we start changing once uh, I launch the rocket. There's a launch button on the right side, as you can see. Uh, once you press it, uh, here I'm just changing, uh, you see the up and down, I wanted to play with it. Um, I just wanted to see what it does. Uh, you see, it kind of ruined the immersion when you just you know touch it, uh, because until then it was just a static rocket in front of me and then just changing it. But again, I prefer just you know, not touching everything, but I wanted to see you know, how things work. The thing is that when you use the sliders, you can, you can just be far away from it and, you know, I can just be here and then scan the floor near me and just uh, move um, the rocket far away from me. So it's easier to uh, adjust things like that. Uh, but again, as I told you, I wanted you to feel more immersive. That's why I didn't touch anything. I wanted to just take slow pace uh, backwards and just observe this beauty. All right, so I made my preparations. I just took a big breath. Uh, first, I wanted to take some time, enjoy this beautiful view, and I was ready uh, to press this launch button and see the rocket just flies into the air. And, and this is the good part, so watch carefully what happens. So 
it was so beautiful just watching the, the rocket flies into the air. As you can see, there is um, uh, the smoke around it. It's just beautiful, you know, this uh, particle system works beautiful. Uh, everything you see here, again, I'm using the beta, so just keep this in mind. If there are some issues, uh, the developer was noted and hopefully they will be solved uh, in the full release. Uh, and the great thing about it is that those, this smoke is just dissolved very, very slowly. And just look how beautiful it looks. Uh, and by the way, you have uh, three options. One for using the hop tester, second one is a Starship, and the third one is a Starship Plus uh, booster. So you can choose whatever you like and you can launch each one of them. Uh, the other ones uh, fly kind of in an angle, a bit different uh, than this one. Uh, now I was less critical about how I place it and I just place it, you know, whatever I wanted, uh, very, kind of close to me and then I decided to launch it. Again, uh, just adjusting things and I'm ready to launch it and just take a look. Again, near the building so we can really uh, observe uh, the scale of things and uh, the movement in the 3D space. Just look at this, so beautiful. Uh, regarding sound effects, again, this is something that uh, I mentioned to the developer. Uh, hopefully this will be added. Uh, but again, it just looks breathtaking. Just I, I, This particle effect is, is, is just stunning, stunning. Um, just look at this. I just stayed longer because I wanted to see if it dissolves and it does. It just feels so realistic. Just look at this. Just beautiful, right? Yeah, so people enjoying the time in the park and I'm watching uh, a launch of a big rocket and they don't know they're all in a smoke and okay, no problem, no danger. Everything is safe, of course. It's all virtual, no worries. But just look how beautiful it is. It takes kind of a volume uh, in, in uh, the real world space. That's why it's so impressive. And I really like the, the way it dissolves very, very slowly because it feels natural. And actually there wasn't wind, but you know, just imagine it was kind of a way to measure the wind uh, uh, speed and actually apply this to the particle system. Just imagine how amazing it will be, right? You can even just use the microphone, just, you know, uh, uh, sample the microphone sound to hear, you know, uh, the w uh, sound of uh, wind and maybe you can use it, you know, just in, into the app and just apply some wind force uh, to the particle system. So that, for example, if the wind is very strong, you can just animate it uh, to either side. Just look at this, such a beautiful, this is a beautiful place to place the rocket and between the buildings and the platform, uh, you know, or in the, um, in the park itself, in the area of the grass and just see it uh, vertically move up into the sky. As you can see, it dissolves completely the smoke and we get a clear sky. So here you can see the other options, Hop Tester, Starship, Starship plus Booster. Uh, here I just uh, chose um, uh, Hop Tester, no, I chose a Starship plus Booster. Uh, and you can see, just look at this, it just spawns where you are, so it's slightly above you. And then I wanted to try this one out, so let's try it out, let's launch it. Now, as you can see, it flies a bit differently. Um, but overall, you know, you can see that the um, visuals are really impressive here. I'm not saying that there isn't a way to improve this. Uh, uh, there is, and same goes to the 3D model itself. Uh, but overall, you know, this is something really impressive when it comes to sh uh, seeing things uh, in a sheer scale, in the real world scale. Uh, there is an option to resize um, the spaceship, but I don't think there should be, to be honest, because uh, it's supposed to be like a kind of a realistic simulation. Uh, and if you resize it, it just won't be the same experience anymore. It's actually be like, you know, just placing a 3D model uh, of, a, um, of a rocket and just, you know, just playing with it. So this is why this app was so amazing in the first place, because you knew that when you place it, it's going to be a real life-size uh, rocket. Again, beautiful smoke. Also notice the numbers on the right side, the altitude, speed.
Now, I personally recommend uh, using it in a large open space to really, really, uh, you know, get immersed uh, with the app because if you just want to try it at home or, you know, in a small area, it, it won't be the same. Uh, that's why I do recommend trying it in a large open space like you know like in a big park like I did here and if you have something like you know uh, trees around or buildings around it's even better because then you can really understand uh, and observe the sheer scale um, of the 3D model of the rocket. So this is AR Starship. Uh, you know, it's a very simple uh, augmented reality application, uh, but one that was able to really uh, fascinate me and get me immersed uh, more than I expected, to be honest. And that's why I really enjoyed it, and I really want to make this video and share it with you. I'm also mentioning again, uh, I was a beta tester of this app. Uh, this is not the full release. Uh, so things that you see here might be different in the full release. Now, as you know, I tried many type of augmented reality apps, but there's something uh, you know exciting about having an app that uh, you know a simulation app that actually presents something that uh, is uh, is uh, supposed to be realistic, but it does that uh, virtually using augmented reality. Uh, it feels you know something uh, that there's a connection between uh, what you see on the screen and your understanding of how things are supposed to look and feel uh, if it was real. And then you kind of associate that feeling with uh, the virtual uh, scene in front of you and you actually get excited like you know like you're going to see uh, a relaunch of a real rocket in front of you so this anticipation and association uh, helped me uh, uh, to uh, get more immersed uh, with this uh, specific experience and i'm sure it's going to be uh, similar to other type of apps where you want to uh, uh, try to bring something realistic and simulated uh, uh, virtually in augmented reality. So in that aspect, I think the developer did a very good job and I do recommend downloading this app once it's released or it might be already released by the time you're uh, watching this video. So well done developer, I'm definitely going to use this app again uh, once it's full released. So if you enjoyed this video guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. There are so many cool videos that I want to bring to you uh, and I'm going to bring you videos very, very soon. So press this subscribe button and don't forget also to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, especially Instagram. Really cool uh, images there that I only share there and nowhere else. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye bye.